We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. We gather in the Lord's name, in the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And, with your and so this Sunday we encounter the Magi, but we encounter light and darkness. And that's going to be the theme of my homily about that light and darkness. But also, Herod is threatened by a little child. As we enter into this celebration, we take a moment and we acknowledge that we're in need of God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us lift our voices and give glory and praise to God.
and let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, O God, Lord, every nation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, and in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance and sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they have seen at its rising preceded them until it came and it stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading, and certainly in the Gospel, we are uh, very aware of light and darkness. Light and darkness fills these readings. That is because the star gives us great light. I don't know about you, but I don't experience that same uh, light deprivation that some people do, and that brings sadness, and it brings some real kind of depression to people when they're deprived of light. And so you can sense, Herod, this whole business of uh, secretly. Anytime we're doing something secret, there's always a cause to be concerned. And, and the darkness almost comes when you hear him speaking to the Magi. And it's that darkness that kind of fills the world as we hear in our first reading. But it's the light that we're celebrating. This wonderful light that the Magi are overjoyed. And you know, anytime you hear about light, the star brings us joy. Lighting the Christmas tree brings us joy. All of this light fills our world and it brings joy. And this light is Jesus. And remember, when he begins his ministry, he calls each and every one of us light. You are the light of the world. 
So we must be light, especially in a world that does experience the heaviness of darkness, the heaviness of what we're experiencing with the pandemic, the heaviness of not being able to gather. We miss one another, and that's hard for us. It's really hard for human beings to be separated and to be pushed aside and to feel like isolated and left alone. So as we celebrate, we want to celebrate a light a light that needs to come into our world, a light that we can bring. Even though we may be a bit distanced, we can still bring joy through our smile and through our personality. Through our conversation, even though we may be distanced, we can bring light into the world. So I'm inviting you as we celebrate the coming of the Magi and they seeing the star bringing that light to those around us. It certainly makes a difference. You know, it's interesting, and I'm going to leave you with this. Herod was threatened by a child. Jesus had that much power, that much light, that much ability to touch lives as a child. So as we continue, that light of that child can enlighten our hearts so that we can enlighten one another. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we bring our prayers and our needs to the Lord, and we ask the Lord to touch our hearts. For the church around the world, that newcomers and visitors may always feel welcomed and valued, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, that they may grow in wisdom and just judgment as they lead us into this new year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are looking for answers to questions, problems, or hardships in their lives, that like the Magi, they will be guided by the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of this world, that they may be a sign of God's delight in creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, May they be surrounded by the love of their neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they be raised to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of Illinois, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you sent your Son light into the world to enliven and enlighten us. Help us to be light for one another as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord is Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light from the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, and he said... Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord Jesus. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said... Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all of our presiding bishops and all the clergy and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so we gather our hearts this day as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. So let us turn to one another and offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to all of our viewers. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your 
spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.